Nicole's Potter here for Netbook News, and here we've got the Toshiba NB550D, and the D means that it's with AMD. So this 10-inch netbook is going to be supporting the new low-power AMD Ontario C50. So let's get right into this unboxing. Now this is a, this actually uh, is the Toshiba netbook with the Harman card and speakers that is not available uh, in the U.S. and uh, it's one of the few joys of living over here in Asia. So you can see I've gotten the beautiful lime green. <laughs> Let's go through the box. Here we have one end of the PSU. Here we've got well, the other end of the PSU. That's stuff there. Just have a quick look below at oh actually this is actually going to be a surprise that we were going to show you guys later. Apparently, the Toshiba uh, or the C50 uh, CPU supports 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM. So we actually picked that up when we bought the Toshiba to upgrade it to see what the benchmarks are like with that. So keep an eye out for that in the future. So that doesn't actually come with it. We bought that aftermarket. And here's the quick start guide. So if you want to take a quick look around the system here, You don't see too many lime green netbooks around. <laughs> There's the power button on the back of the bar here. Six cell battery. Nice big panel for us to upgrade nice and easily. A lot of the manufacturers are making us go through the keyboard, so thankfully Toshiba's got that covered. It's almost got a rubberized finish. It's very soft, no fingerprints at all in this. I'm really quite fond of this. So actually, let's just take keyboard pad out here. We'll do a walk around the system. So here we've got the headphone and there, that's something that I'm very excited to see. We're going to test this out in just a moment. This is to use the Harman Carter speakers while the netbook is off. This is the sleep wall charge, HDMI, fan, PSU, Kensington key, or, P, uh, and Kensington key lock up there. Down around the other side we just have two USB 2.0. Nothing else on this side. Here we just have some status LEDs here, and here is their 4-in-1 card reader kind of hidden away here at the bottom. Now it looks like there's actually an additional subwoofer on the bottom here, and this is what makes this netbook really different. It's got the Harman Carter speakers built into the palm rest. Now I'm a little skeptical about how this is going to work out long term as you do rest your palms on here. You know, you get some extra carpal tunnel from the heavy bass, but who knows? Uh, we'll, we'll, we're gonna, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually be bringing this to Mobile World Congress as my main netbook, so I'll let you know how it goes uh, when I actually use it as my, as my little mobile working horse. But the keypad, it's got this great finish. It's kind of slightly rough, and it's got the two separate mouse buttons, nice and soft, very reflective to the touch. The key, oops, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> the keyboard is that great Toshiba keyboard that we've really come to expect. Um, I was typing on it earlier, there's zero flex on this. Zero flex. Now let's just test out the feature here that I think that, that I think makes this netbook a little bit special. Move some of this away. So here I've got a iPod Nano. I'll just turn that on. And now this this unit is completely off. So if we just power this in here, hit play. Very decent sound on this.
So it's just been a little test of the speakers. You can hear these are probably the best netbook speakers that you've ever heard around. And it's the small details that make this netbook probably one of the more exceptional ones that I've seen in a very long time. So we're actually going to get in, we're going to get into the benchmarks of the C550 a little bit later. And this has been a quick look around the Toshiba MB550. All right, guys, we're back just for one more minute because I wanted to just point out that we got a whole bunch. This uh, this netbook cost us four hundred fifty dollars taxes in. And we got this great Toshiba netbook sleeve, a keyboard protector, which I'm not entirely sure about, and a little Toshiba 25th anniversary mouse. So these were some of the gifts that we got for purchasing this Toshiba netbook. Uh, that's kind of standard when you buy things here in Taiwan, but I wanted to point out these were some of the extras that we got with the, this netbook purchase. So that was 450, 450 US dollars, every, everything in, and that was also a 250 gig hard drive. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. So here are the extras. <laughs>